The name Omaheke comes from the Herero word for sandfelt or sandy plains. This Kalahari sandfelt with its unique cultural experiences, magnificent skies, vegetation and animal diversity welcomes you to a unique local holiday experience. For basic camping, the beauty of Satako campsite is that it is part of a sand village and is managed by the sand themselves. Activities such as bushwalks, traditional demonstrations, singing and dancing are the highlights of this campsite and provide the visitor the opportunity to have a sand experience on their ancestral land. Bloberg village has a rich history and is home to Damara chief Franziska Hauses. Together with her husband, chief Hauses was amongst the first Damara resettlers here in 1982. She loves to share Damara traditions and stories with visitors. At the Boyteko campsite, apart from proudly displaying the beauty of Botswana culture, the woman guides will take visitors by foot around the village of Metswedding. This rural setting is a unique experience. The significance of the sacred fire is an essential facet of the traditional Ovaheredo household. This holy fire plays a pivotal role in the Aminus community's spiritual well-being, as well as keeping the very important connection with the ancestral spirits. This is also the same holy fire where Chief Jose Akutako bestowed blessings upon the youthful founding father Sam Nioma at the beginning of his journey towards the liberation of Namibia. At the magical salt pans, the charm and friendliness of Mama Lodge welcomes you to Kambahoka Rest Camp. The camp was founded by the women of this community. Visitors can appreciate basic Kalahari desert camping, a walk in the salt pan and the interesting traditions of the Herero culture. At Camp Zelda, you can experience the rapidly disappearing culture of the last hunter-gatherers. During very educational bushwalks, sand guides explain the uses of different plants and demonstrate how to find felt elements for wilderness survival. For 4x4 enthusiasts, the beautiful contrasting landscapes is perfect for play and experiencing nature in its most natural state. The Kalahari Namib Eco 4x4 route is an action-packed adventure with diverse landscapes ranging from the red dunes of the Kalahari in the east to the ancient Namib desert in the west. The Dorsland Trek 4x4 route is an adventurous 2000 km self-guided 4x4 experience. From the Mariko region in South Africa, through Namibia and ending in Angola. Both these 4x4 routes 
run through Omaheke region. With 20 state-owned parks and reserves and almost 200 privately owned game reserves, the total area of protected land in Namibia is no less than 45% of the country's surface. Predominantly nocturnal, the very elusive leopard is the most adaptable of all wild cats. They can easily cover 25 kilometers in one night. The elephants present in this region are part of the government's custodian program with the local farmers. Here, visitors can expect an up-close and personal experience. This solitary caracal is indigenous in the Omaheke region and most of Namibia. Thirty-nine areas of Namibia are considered internationally important because of their unique plants. Omaheke is host to some of these areas. Used for generations by the people of the Kalahari as appetite suppressant, the indigenous hoodia plant is now widely used in the commercial production of slimming agents. The African monarch butterfly derives its poisonous nature from its dietary staple during the larva stage. In Namibia, the blister beetle has two colors, but in Omaheke, they have an extra red stripe to warn us of its poisonous nature. There are over 4,300 plant species in Namibia, of which 17% are indigenous. The Omaheke region lies on the western edge of a vast basin of sand. It is this sand that determines the region's unique vegetation, wildlife and mineral potential. Omaheke Sandfeld lies in the camelthorn savanna of the central Kalahari. Grass and tree species compete for the common habitat. The natural salt pans of Aminus are flat expanses of ground covered with salt and other minerals. It is these minerals that shine white under the sun and give the pan its vast expanse and surreal nature.
contrasting colors of the Sandfeld. Underneath the unspooled African skies of the Omaheke region, never cease to amaze the visitor. Young ASEP Conservancy got their conservation status in 2008. David Rukia Kadao explains. We are about 3,000 up to 4,000 people living in our conservancy. I'm the chairman of the conservancy. ASEP Conservancy is 110 kilometers from Omutumbodudu Riverside up to Gam Gate. And 140 kilometer from Uchinene border to the Botswana border. The landscape is very flat, natural, and very attractive. As you see, our area is vast and undeveloped. We have airland, we have kudus, we have oryx, we have ostrich, and also we have the problem animal like wild dogs. Wild dogs are an endangered species and big problem to the farmers. We are searching for that idea of how we can learn to live in harmony with the wild dogs. tour guide Waki Peter Hein Kadapua explains. Koba base has a meaning in Koikwe language. So if you separate the two in terms of Koba, it means discussion or quarrel. Pez refers to a place. When you put them together, it's Koba base. That's a right original pronunciation of the, of the, of the, of the, of the word itself, Koba base, where the town was named after. Another one is Juan Tabes, a place where elephants used to come and leak water. And this is where we are standing, at the fountain. And as you can see, we have made sure that we have put on statues to indicate that the elephant used to come and drink water right here at this fountain. So the name, the other name is Juan Tabes. some traditional fusion cooking with all these lovely ingredients we sourced here at this area of these regions which is Omeke. We have uh, Thomas which we get from Sonneblom which I bought this from a, a local chief for five dollars. We have some rare bread from Talismanas which we bought for ten bucks. This lovely little lady which woke up especially for us to basically show us how to do how to boil this bread. We have some uh, lovely onyama which we got from a local village here. So we just basically render down and cook down a bit with a little salt, salt and water. And then we've got some tomatoes, onion, some dry chili, and a little spice mix. Then we're basically going to infuse all these things, all these things together.
Make the endless horizons of Omaheke region your next holiday destination.